Hello students, today we are going to start lesson number 4, Evolution. Under this, we will study the concept of evolution, stages of evolution of animals and apes. We studied in the previous chapter about formation of earth and the living being on earth. Here we are going to study about the term evolution. It means gradual and continuous change. Gradual means slow and continuous means non-stop. To make you understand the word evolution, let us take few examples to have a basic understanding. Everything in the world goes through the process of evolution whether it is living or non-living thing. Let us see the examples one by one. In the first picture you see a picture of mobile. Earlier when the mobile was invented it was just a basic phone. Now we have a phone which is full of technology like we have camera, music, games and so on. In the second picture you see a picture of television. Earlier we had a black and white TV. Now we have a smart television. In the third picture you see a picture of a baby. The baby doesn't remain as a baby forever. It grows into an adult then a man and an old man. In the fourth picture you see the picture of an egg. The egg is hashed into chicken and finally the chicken grows into a hen. In the last picture you see a picture of seed which grows into a sapling then into a plant and finally into a tree. In the previous slide we studied evolution about a particular thing, person, animal, plant etc. Now let us understand the deeper meaning of evolution. It means the evolution which happens from one generation to another generation and it goes on. Let us take an example of a baby. When a baby is born, it inherits certain qualities from mother and father's family. The child is a new species born from his parents. And when the child grows into an adult and get married and give birth to a child, again that child is a new species. So this keeps happening from generation to generation. So in the family, you can see grandparents, parents, un uncle, aunt, sibling, cousins, etc. Some might look tall, short, fair, dark, with long hair or with short hair, etc. So we can see from the same family, the family members have different features. So we can say every time a new species is born with different features inherited from their family members, this concept is called as evolution. Similar things happen with plants as well as animals. The first scientist who gave systematic explanation of the concept of evolution was Charles Darwin. Along with evolution, adaptation process also takes place. The adaptation means adjusting with the environment and getting used to it. For example, some people adapt to village environment while others to city environment. It is applicable for animals and plant as well. Some animals live in forest while some in desert, some in water, etc. Similarly, some plants grow in hot region while some grows in cold region. It is not merely evolution which takes place but adaptation also plays important role. The adaptation means adjusting with the environment and getting used to it. As it is rightly said, survival of the fittest, which means only strong people continue to live and win and rest all die or fail. Any species, whether it is human being, animals, plants, that are able to adapt to the environment changes are able to survive, while the one that cannot do so becomes extinct in the process of evolution. Let us take a simple example. A newborn baby is able to survive if he has a good immune system. He is able to adapt to winter and summer and the food also. He is able to fight all the disease and survive. But if a newborn baby has a weak immune system, it will not be able to fight the disease and grow up. And even if the child grows up, it keeps falling sick and has some kind of deficiency in the body and it would be a fatal one day. In the process of adapting to the environment, certain external and internal changes occur in some species. For example, external changes which are visible to us. 
For example, some animals like cow, goat, etc. have flat teeth for chewing plants. Some animals like lion, tiger have sharp teeth for cutting meat. Birds have light bones, hence they fly. Animals like camel store water and hump for many days, hence it is able to adapt to the desert region. Polar bear have thick hair on their body, hence they are able to survive in the most cold region. Examples of internal changes in species during adaptation. For example, internal changes which are not visible to us. Let us take an example. Human beings temperature changes during winter. To survive the winter, we wear warm clothes. Similarly, during hot region, our body temperature changes. Hence, we wear light clothes. Let's go to the next example. Some animals go to sleep during cold weather. They do not hunt for food during the cold region. They take rest till spring. This adaptation allows them to survive the cold. Here you will see one more example of an animal which evolved, adapted and extincted. In the ancient time, there were many species of types of animals called dinosaur. The word dinos in Greek means terrible and saurus means lizard or reptile. Dinosaur means terrible lizard. See the picture, these are the different species of dinosaurs which evolved. Some are two-legged, some have wings and some are enormous in size. Based on the fossil found, it was discovered there existed huge and large animal like dinosaur. Now no dinosaurs exist, all have extincted. These dinosaurs adapted to a particular environment, but all of a sudden they vanished. It is believed that certain natural disaster, maybe earthquake, storm, volcanoes, etc., or some environmental changes are responsible for the extinction. Now let us study the stages of evolution of animals. We already studied in the previous chapter about the first living being discovered in this world was a unicellular organism named protozoa. From the unicellular developed multicellular organisms like plants, animals and human beings. These multicellular evolved gradually and continuously and gave rise to different classes of plants and animals. Here we will study different stages of evolution of animals. It can be categorized into two stages, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are those animals which have backbone. For example, birds like crow. Next example, aquatic animals are those animals which live in water. Example, fish. The next example is amphibian. Amphibian are those animals which live in water as well as on land. For example, frog. The next example is reptile. Reptiles are those animals which crawl like a baby. Example, snake, lizard, turtle, crocodile. The last, that is mammal which is also a vertebrate. You will study more about mammal in the coming slide. Mammals come under the category of vertebrates. They give birth to their young ones and also produce milk to feed their babies. To know whether an animal is mammal, it is easy to identify them. They have hair on their body and they have external ears which are visible. For example, dog, cat, horse, cow, lion, goat, etc. Some exception to mammals are platypus and anteater. They lay eggs but produce milk to feed their babies. Invertebrates are those animals which do not have backbones. Generally worms, insects and unicellular organisms like protozoa, yeast, bacteria, amoeba, etc. Some more examples are octopus, scorpion, snail, spider, shrimp, starfish, ant, bee, crab, grasshopper, butterfly and lobster etc. We human being actually evolved from an animal called apes which was similar to a human being in appearance. Some apes species lived on trees and retained their original ape like form while other moved on grassland and some ape evolved gradually and in time gave rise to the human species. And this human species was first found in African continent and they were called as primitive man. The word primitive means first. We shall learn more about the evolution of human species in the coming chapter.